Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Animus J and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial video. Today we are going to be going over how to build a basic item filter or an item sorting system. So this is the most basic and easiest way to do it. And I'm not just going to show you how to build it, but I'm going to explain to you exactly why it works the way that it does. So this top line of hoppers is your input line and this chest is your input chest where you're going to put in whatever items you want to be sorted now they're going to pass down the line and right now we only have one filter set up but this is the output chest and this one is going to be redstone so if i put let's go one two three four five six seven eight if i do eight redstone into the input chest and we wait just a second there we go eight redstone now if i put in Let's put in, uh, not sticks, let's put in an egg, let's put in two redstone torches, and let's put in a couple of signs. Okay, now notice, still only eight redstone. Now what happened to all those items? Well, right now they're sitting right here, and that's because we haven't put an output chest on here, or a, a, a garbage collection chest. But uh, we'll cover that uh, when we go over how to build it. So, moving into the operation of it, here is the basics of how it works. Here's the, the theory behind it. We have this input line is going to pass the items from right to left or left to right if you want to build it in that direction, but I have mine from right to left. And now if you look at the way the hoppers are pointing, it looks like they should all just go into this chest, but hoppers have this thing where they will pull down first. So if there's a hopper below some, below another hopper, so for instance, if I put a hopper right here and I put items into this one, all those sticks are gonna end up right here. And that's because hoppers will always look down for another hopper before passing in the direction that they're actually pointing. So they pass the items along here, and then they come along to this hopper, which is going into a comparator. Now what I've done in this hopper is I've given it a bunch of items, all right? I've given it four sticks and 18 redstone. Now this hopper below it is locked with a redstone torch. So if I put any, which it's got one in there because that, that's gonna happen from, from the chest, okay? So you can see though that redstone is chilling there and that's because the redstone torch is stopping this hopper from from taking anything. It, it basically this hopper realizes this one is blocked off and it's also stopping this one from passing anything. So that's why these ones aren't going anywhere. Now, if I add items, remember a comparator checks how many items are inside of something behind it. So you can see this one redstone dust right here is illuminated because we have a couple items. If I go one more item into there, you saw that right there, it illuminated this, which powered the repeater, which depowered the torch and allowed one single item to flow through, and now we have nine. So that is how it works, but there is one other trick to this. Now I have normal sticks in here, and that's not actually smart to do because what happens is if I put more sticks in here, here's what happens. Look at that, it gets messed up and now my hopper is stuck in a weird place, my comparator, and notice 12 redstone, okay? So if you wanna break it, that's the quickest way to do it. So what you need to do is take an anvil and you wanna take whatever items, it doesn't matter what items it is, just take them and rename them. So now that those have a unique name, nothing else with that name is ever going to be passing through this. I'm, I'm never gonna pass through sticks that are named subscribe now with an exclamation point through my system, okay? So now I can throw as many sticks in there as I want and it's not gonna get added onto this. It's gonna go into my junk chest. Now, how to build it. Go ahead and choose the spot where you want your chest to be and what you want to do is lay down your double chest like so and you're going to break out one two and three blocks behind it you can break out the fourth if you want but we're just going to put another block there so behind it excuse me the block behind it what you're going to do is you're going to uh, put a redstone torch pointing towards the block under the chest and then over that you're going to put your hopper 
Next, you're gonna come back behind this block right here, and that's where your repeaters, repeater is gonna go, facing into the block that's holding the torch. Coming up to the next level, you're gonna put a block here and here, covering up those things. Your comparator faces away from your hopper, and then you're gonna have redstone dust coming down the two levels. And it doesn't matter that it's connected up right there because remember, repeaters can only produce a signal so far as the items go. So it's not gonna power all four of those when one of them gets enough items. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hopper and you're going to shift click or sneak click, whichever that is, depending on what device you're on, and place it so that it is facing into that comparator. It doesn't have to actually face the comparator, but it cannot face to the side and it cannot face down. It's got to be facing either to the comparator or it has to be facing into another block that's in the front like so. Now above that hopper is going to be your input chain and you can see that I've already got mine built. It doesn't matter which direction it goes. The key is that the hoppers need to face into each other, okay? So whether you want to come from the left or from the right, it does not matter. Just make a line of hoppers pointing into each other. At the beginning of it, you need an in point input chest above your first hopper and at the end, an output garbage chest or leftover chest more so, more so that will collect any item that you don't have a filter set for. Now, once you have all of that, you're going to right click onto the hopper pointing into the comparator Take your unique items and you're going to fill it up one, two, three, and four. And then whatever it is that you want to be filtered, then go ahead and place. You need 18, but you can start with at least one. As long as you have at least one, like say you want to do diamonds and you don't have a ton of diamonds, you can start with just one. And what will happen is as you input those items, it's going to add to that. And once it gets to 18, it's gonna pass the rest of them through the system. So now it's gonna go up, and you can see it looks like it's frozen there, but it's not actually frozen because what it's doing is it's maintaining that as it passes them into here. And there we go, back at 18 again because it passed them all through, and we do have one left in here that's always gonna happen. Now, if I pass anything through that is not a part of my filter, what it's gonna do is it's gonna come across here, it's gonna check, it's gonna say, is there room inside of here? No, we can only pass iron and subscribe now sticks. Okay, let's check this one. We can only pass redstone and subscribe now sticks. Okay, so let's keep on going and it's gonna put it right here into this output chest. Now, some things that you cannot sort. You cannot sort unstackable items and that is anything like tools, uh, you know, armor, th those types of things. Anything that cannot be stacked uh, together into a full stack cannot be sorted. Uh, you can stack things like ender pearls. It's just a little bit trickier, but um, the, the reason that you cannot do things like, well, for instance, this trident, is that a trident, whereas one slot takes up 64 of a normal item, a trident is gonna take up a big spot. You see how that's that's taking it down quite a bit. And so the other aspect is that we get up to a cap of 18 in this slot and then it passes more, but you cannot stack 18 tridents. And it will not search for a trident because that slot is considered to be full by the hopper. Now, as far as decorating this thing goes, you can decorate it, of course, any way that you want. But one thing that you do have to have if you want to be able to open your chest, and you guys probably already know this, but you cannot have a full slab above these chests and be able to open them. So what you have to do is you have to get half slabs, stairs, any kind of a transparent or semi-transparent semi block. I like stairs. I, I think that they look cool. You can place them like that or you can also place them. Let's see if I can get it to happen. Nope. Uh, let's go this way. Yeah, there we go. You can place them like that. That way it does look like a full block, but that is the only way that you, that's the only way you can have something on top of those. You can use half slabs, you can use glass. Uh, and then of course, what you can do is you can add, uh, what are they called? Item frames. <laughs> you can add item frames 
onto the front somewhere, and then you can place on it whatever the item is. That way you know what that chest holds. So that is it for this basic item sorting tutorial. I hope that that helps you guys out. I hope you get a lot from it. If you do, then make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't joined already, then do make sure to subscribe. But that's it guys, I'm Animus J, and I will see you next time.